Did you know that God placed big magnets in the sky? <laughs> That's right, they're all over our solar system and they're pointing us back to the biblical record. Find out how they do that on Wonders Without Numbers. I was working for General Electric uh, and looking at large power transformers being assembled okay. uh, on my lunch break. And I was pondering a scripture in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 5, where in the New American Standard Version it says, He formed the earth out of water and by means of water. And that gave me an idea on how he may have started up the earth's magnetic field. Hmm. Uh, a few years later I published a theory and I applied the same theory to all the planets and the sun and the moon, big bodies in the solar system, and it explained their past and present fields also. So I've been having a lot of fun with this because our space probes had not visited all parts of the solar system. And uh, so I was able to predict the strength of the magnetic fields that the uh, space probe should find when they visited, for example, the planets uh, Uranus and the planet Neptune, and uh, the predictions came out accurately. So there are about five or six uh, basic features of the magnetic fields in the solar system that I was able to predict before they were found. They've all been found now. 